ko gamit chat. Okay. Yan. So ang ating pag-usapan is chapter 9 watercraft, no? So this is uh, one of the new changes sa ating chap sa chapter ng PEC, no? The Petrical Code Part 1 kasi dati nung last na PEC 2009, volume 2 ito, no? So iniba talaga to ng book or ng ano, ng libro, no? Hindi sinama in book ng uh, Philippine Petrical 2009. Pero sa ngayon, no? Sinama na to as a chapter no sa ating PEC part 1 so yung chapter na to the purpose of this chapter is to establish requirements for the construction installation operation and maintenance of electrical propulsion machinery electrical equipment and wiring system of watercraft so lahat ng mga electrical works no na ginagawa sa mga ship, mga watercrafts ay ito yung sinusunod na code, no? So there is a question raised dito dati kung ano, ano pinakaiba nito doon sa ano sa code ng mga marine engineers. So usually the code of marine engineers is katulad din yan ng ano, National Building Code, no? So their code is all about how to make the boat, paano gagawin yung construction of the boat. Pero kapag when it comes na sa electrical, no, electrical part ng paggawa ng boat, dito ito ni yung sinusunod na code, yung Philippine Electrical Code, no? Ito ring chapter 9 ay uh, ito rin ang isa sa pinakaiba na ano ng PEC sa National Electrical Code ng Amerika. So the National Electrical Code hindi sinama yung uh, yung chapter na all about watercrafts. Wala kayong makikita na watercraft doon sa National Electrical Code 2017. So this is only unique to the uh, to the Philippine Electrical Code, no? Nakasama sa atin yung watercraft, no? So ito yung rason kung bakit usually, no, those who are um do, those who are licensed master electrician, no, ay kadalasan ding pwedeng mag-apply sa mga ship or sa mga barko because of this chapter. Okay? So, this chapter covers electrical equipment ay wiring installed on and within the following. No? So, kung makikita nyo parang nasa chapter 1 tayo ng PEC na kung saan inaano din natin yung scoop. No? So, ito yung scoop din tungkol sa kung ano-ano yung sakop no? ng chapter na ito. So, watercraft without limit limitation. So, unrestricted service and purpose. No? Kasama pa din yung watercraft with special limitation so restricted service and purpose all watercraft navigate navigating in the Philippines yan so, yan yung kasama no so we have the definition of terms then for this chapter now we have dangerous space spaces where dangerous goods such as in, uh, inflammable liquids and solid gases explosives infectious oxidizing substance and Organic peroxide are stored and where those stored or liable to escape into. So usually this type of space is applicable to cargo ships. No? Grounded system. Any electrical system which utilizes the common ground point of the water craft only as a means to maintain the return conductors of one side of the system at the ground potential. Yan. Because usually the grounding or the ground part of our uh, ship or, or watercraft is the hull, no? the hull of the ship. No? So we have the grounding plate, a grounding plate of pure copper with an area of not less than 0 0.2 square meter, exposed area for big watercraft or 0 0.093 square meter, exposed area for small watercraft which will be installed at the underwater portion of the hull external surface before the light water line to where the lighting conductors terminates and attach firmly by means of clamp. So, sa makikita itong grounding plate? Nasa hull, no? sa external surface, sa labas ng hull, uh, which is below the light water line. No? So, yung, yung water line na kung saan ma, ano, um, tawag doon, um, peaceful yung dagat. So, yan yung light water line. Yan. 
Then we have steering gear, electric, one which is powered by an electric motor and its associated electrical equipment. Meron na tayo steering gear auxiliary, equipment which is provided for effective movement of the rudder for the purpose of steering the watercraft in the event of failure of the main steering gear. Then we have uh, steering gear main. It is the main... It, uh, it is the main means of applying torque to the rudder, stacking necessary for affecting movement of the rudder for the purpose of steering the watercraft under normal services. Yan. So this is all about steering gear, no? yung iba't ibang parts ng steering gear. Then you have the steering gear control system, remote. No, It is the means by which the required rudder movements are controlled remotely from the navigating bridge to the steering gear power unit controls. Then, classification of watercrafts. So, watercrafts are classified as liners or carriers according to type, purpose, and service, and place of operation as for international Oswise Bay, Lake, or River Sea operation. So, this include the following. So, first, we have passenger ship or ferry boat, no? hydrofoil or hovercraft. No? So, Sako pa rin to ng ating Pilipinang Recal Code. Then we have the roll-off, roll-on roll uh, vessel or cargo vessels. Vessel for carriage of all cases of dangerous cargoes. Tank ship. Yacht for pleasure use. No? Pati yung mga yate. Expo ship and watercraft for amusement and display for possess. Fishing boat. no So kasama pa rin sa Pilipinang Recal Code yung fishing boat. Vessel or barge for salvaging, bridging, and pile driving. Watercraft for cable laying or pipe laying operation. No, yung mga watercraft used for uh, for the routing. No, yung pag, pa, ano, paglalagay ng mga marine cable. Floating power plant barge. Training or hospital ships. Tugboat or pusher boat. Workboat or supply boat. Fireboat for firefighting. Floating tourist hotel. Um, restaurant or casino. No, Yung mga cruise ship. No? Ito yung mga cruise ship. Then we have watercraft for pollution contour, for geodetic and ocean research, search and rescue vessel, naval and coast guard vessel, motor launches for piloted use, patrol boat or speedboat, then mobile offshore drilling rig, production platform and habitat, tapos survey and exploration ships. So, equipment installed within 460 mm above the deck shall be permitted for type approved for Crop 1 Class C hazardous location. No? So, yung lahat ng mga equipment natin, no, na, or lahat ng mga electrical equipment, no, which is within 460 mm above the deck, no, shall be permitted uh, as long as yung approved niya is for class 1 group C hazardous location. No? So, itong group 1 group C hazardous location ay makikita doon sa, ano, sa special conditions. No? Kung, ano, ano, kung ano yung ibig sabihin nito. So, this is all about yung may mga ano. Um, uh, there is a chance no, that our equipment will ignite. No? Kasi ito kasing deck is open space. No? So, dapat yung ating ano, equipment must be waterproof and corrosion proof or corrosion resistant equipment installed at over 460 mm above the deck shall be of totally enclosed type no so hindi lang water resistant watertight corrosive type and corrosive resistant location of serviceable motor driven bilge pump controller so it should be, it shall be located above the bulkhead deck no itong serviceable motor driven natin na pump controller okay tapos electrical supply arrangement when an arrangement of the electrical supply involves transfer relays to connect the supply from normal to temporary source source a door holding the electromagnet shall be armature so that with the pull of the armature of 50 kilograms, the armature will be held in a closed position for approximately 0 0.25 seconds to the electromagnet is open. So this is to prevent unnecessary changing of the power from normal to temporary. So it should be able to hold no, our uh, the change over on 0 0.25 seconds. No, the the pull of the armature is of 50 
kilograms. Electric motor for life bolt handling. So, waterproof electric motor installed in conjunction with life bolt handling. No? Yung mga life bolt is yung ginagamit natin in case of emergency. No? Shall be of waterproof construction subject to spray test spray tight test. Na ibig sabihin nito kahit may there is a sp uh, spraying water hindi siya masisira or hindi ma ano ma tag doon uh, hindi makakapasok yung tubig. Okay? Before conducting the test, all painted and gasket gasketed joints should should be broken and they assembled three times. So yung testing nito is gigibain mo na yung ano yung mismo enclosure ng motor ibabalik gigibain gibalik three times saka siya i-test. Yan. Enclosure test no, shall be subjected for a period of 5 continuous minutes for water leakage. So, all enclosures no, of electrical equipment na makikita sa ating, ano, sa ating watercraft must be subjected to enclosure test. So, method number 1, the enclosure shall be submerged in water to a depth so that the highest point of the enclosure in its normal mounted position is under the water of 900 mm head. No? So, nakalubog siya ng 900 mm. Method 2, shall be submerged in water to a depth of at least 75 mm at the highest point in an open tank. Sufficient vacuum shall then be applied to the inside of the enclosure. Ito. To produce an external pressure equivalent to 900 mm head of water. Yeah, so dalawa yung type ng testing natin. So grounding, no, no current carrying parts of an insulated system shall be grounded. So lahat ng mga wirings natin sa barko if that is live no or hot wires hindi siya pwede i-grounded, no. Metal framings of our portable lamps, tools and similar apparatus supplied as service or units equipment and rated in excess of 55 volts this is line to ground shall be grounded Gen generator neutrals may be connected in common no? common ang kanyang grounding provided that the third harmonic content of the waveform of each generator does not exceed 5% so when you say harmonic yung fluctuation no yung pangatlong fluctuation ng kanyang voltage must not exceed 5% no ng ating sa normal na voltage ng ating generator Okay, requirements for electrical installations on boats no? or ships or watercraft. Approval required. So, the conductor's wiring methods and equipment required by this code shall be acceptable only when approved. No? So, sino yung mag-approve nito? Sa, sa ano yung agency? That will be the Marina. No? The Maritime uh, Authority of the Philippines. Okay? Other requirements, conductors and equipment for installation shall comply with the provisions of Article 1.10, no, yung pinakauna natin na uh, article, in addition to the general special requirements provided in this chapter. So, general requirements, equipment location, the electrical equipment shall be so placed or protected as to minimize the probability of mechanical injury or damage from the accumulation of dust, oil, steam or dripping liquids apparatus liable to arcing no yung pwedeng mag ano mag arcing especially if that is metal parts shall be ventilated or placed in ventilated compartment in which flammable gases acids and oil vapors cannot accumulate no so para hindi mag spark skylights and ventilators shall be so arranged as to avoid the probability of flooding the apparatus okay Protection from bilge water, all generator, motors, and electric coupling shall be so arranged that they cannot be damaged by bilge water. And if necessary, a watertight coating or combing shall be provided to form a wheel around the base of such equipment with provisions of removing the water from the well. So, dapat yung ating equipment no, must be watertight no, to be protected from bilge water. Now, where the electrical power is used for propulsion, the equipment shall be so arranged that it will be, it will operate satisfactory in the event of partial flooding of bilge water above the top, top up of the floor plate level. So, in case there is a flooding on the uh, uh, on the bottom level of our 
uh, of our ship no na kung saan nandoon yung mga usual equipment the generators the motors the pump so it can still operate no if there is a partial flooding hindi siya magaano bag short no because our uh, equipments are rated watertight accessibility no the design and arrangement of electrical equipment is to provide accessibility to parts requiring inspection or adjustment no armature and field coils rotor and revolving fields shall be removable with air ducts are used this shall be means of access watertight equipment all electrical equipment exposed to weather or located in spaces where it should be exposed to sea splashing or other severe moisture conditions shall be of watertight type or be protected by means of watertight enclosure. So the usual uh, type of enclosure for watertight is the NEMA 4X and the NEMA 12. No, yun, yun yung mga watertight. So that is IP64 or IP65 no? if we are going to uh, pertain to IEC standards. No? Yung NEMA kasi is sa America, yun yung IEC is for the European standard. No? So with which shall be such to prevent exposure of the equipment to temperature in excess of that for which they have been designed. Okay, so materials. No? In general, all electrical equipment shall be constructed of durable, flame retardant materials. Additional must be the materials shall be resistant to corrosion, moisture, high and low temperatures, and shall have qualities to prevent deterioration in the ambient conditions the equipment may be expected to encounter. So for example, if our um, if our ship or watercraft is expected to go to kunyari, sa, ano, sa mga malalamig na lugar, tapos kulalayag din papunta sa mainit na lugar, so our materials, no, the equipment, the piping, no, the wires must be able to withstand the sudden change in temperature. So yan yung ibig sabihin ng ambient conditions. Lubricating system, no? So, these are the, the system na kung saan ito yung naglulubricate sa ating mga machines at sa ating mga pumps at sa ating mga rudders. So, lubricating system shall not be adversely affected by vibration and shock, which in normal operation and with the watercraft inclined from the normal at any angle up to 15 degrees transversely and 10 degrees longit longitudinally and wind rolling up to 22.5 degrees from the vertical. So, kahit uh, ano pa yung shaking ng ating ano, watercraft, so our lubricating system will not be affected. No? Uh, especially na yung ating mga oil is doon na mapupunta sa ating equipment. No? So, it is the, the, you know, the enclosures no? and the piping of our lubricating system must be so designed na hindi maka-affect sa electrical system. Equipment and cables location from magnetic compass. No, so bakit to mahalaga because there will be a electrical interference, no, of the navigation system of our ship, no, if we don't have proper distance, no. So electrical equipment and cables shall be so placed at such a distance from the magnetic compasses or be screened that the interfering magnetic field is negligible even when the circuits are switched on and switched off. So, alam natin na yung ating mga wires will have its own magnetic field. No? Kaya pag sobrang lapit siya, so it may interfere with our navigation system. So, kaya it is properly insulated, no? screen, or may tamang spacing. Electrical hardware, so nuts, screws, bolts, pins, and the like used in connection with current carrying parts and working parts shall be effective tight and mechanically lock to prevent loosening. No? So, there must be a proper tightening of all the fasteners. No? Insulating materials and insulated winding. So, insulating materials and windings shall be resistant to moisture, sea air, oil vapor, and fungus. So, hazardous locations, insulations, and equipment. So, yung mga Hazardous uh, locations natin, no? if electrical equipment in hazardous locations shall be of type 
suitable for such locations. Yung cables naman shall be armored or mineral insulated, metal sheeted, and in passing through boundaries of such location, they shall be run through gas tight fittings. So, kailan natin masasabi na yung ating watercraft is uh, belonging to hazardous location? If that if that craft is carrying hazardous material, especially yung mga oil tanker natin. No? So, they are considered as hazardous location because there is a present of um, ignitable liquid or in ignitable vapor. No? Kaya, dapat yung mga gagamitin natin dyan na mga electrical installations equipment, yung mga motors, yung mga wires, no? must be type suited for those type of locations. So, that is ano, uh, class 2, no? class 2 locations. Okay, so lighting circuit, so lighting circuit in a sardo spaces shall be controlled by a double pole switch located outside such spaces. So re re reference ambient temperature, so watercrafts for unrestricted service and for nav navigating in the Philippine waters. So the the re the reference ambient temperature is the temp the normal temperature no sa ating mga oceans. Watercraft for restricted service. So, watercrafts intended solely for operation in northern or southern water outside the tropical belt. Then, precaution against shock, fire, and other hazards of electrical origin. So, for passenger ships and cargo ships. So, ito na yung mga uh, ambient temperature. No? Primarily, cooling water supply, 30. All equipment machinery, 45. All equipment located in all other spaces, 40. May exception if that is a rotating machine, so located, no, dito sa taas, itong condition number 2, so that is 50, no, ang kanyang uh, ambient temperature, 50 degrees Celsius. So exposed metal parts and frames, all exposed metal parts of electrical machines or equipment which are not intended to be energized but uh, to be used, no, so reference Temperature, so primary cooling, water supply 25, all equipment located in other spaces is 40 degrees Celsius. If that is a rotating machine, no, located on the machinery spaces and weather decks, 45 degrees Celsius ang kanyang ambient temperature. Okay, main and emergency switchboards. So main and emergency switchboards shall be totally enclosed, no? So, arrange as to give easy access at the back, front, without danger to personnel. So, enclose siya pero pwedeng ano, ma-access yung likod o yung harap na hindi naman na endanger yung nag-maintain na, elect na electrician or technician. The sides and the backs and where necessary the front shall be suitably guarded. Exposed current carrying parts at voltage to ground exceeding safe voltage. Shall, so, yung safe voltage dito is 50 degrees below, 50 volts below. Shall not be installed on the face of any switchboards or control panel. So, hull return. Well, the hull return system of the distribution is used. Special precautions shall be made and approved. So, hull return shall not be used for tankers, no? tank ship, and super tankers because the, this type of ano, watercrafts are usually na, na, na nagdadala ng mga flammable substances. So, hindi pwede natin gamitin yung hull as our return. No? Return ng ating, ano, ng ating, uh, tawag doon, ng ating, return ng ating, tawag doon, ng ating mga live, no? Or ating neutral. Yan, neutral. Meron kasing cases, no? Na kasi yung generator natin are all live, no? Live yung generator sa ship. So we could use no the hull as the neutral and the grounding no but isa pwedeng gamitin if uh, that is uh, the type of boats or ship is a tanker tank ships or super tankers cables no all metal sheets and armor of cables shall be electrically and mechanically continuous and shall be grounded so, where the cables are neither sheeted nor armored, and there might be a risk of fire in the event of electrical fault, precautions shall be made to prevent fires. And lighting fittings. So, lighting fittings shall be arranged to prevent temperatures 
that would be injurious to wiring and to prevent surrounding materials from becoming excessively hot. Tapos yung wiring naman natin sa ating mga watercraft shall be supported in such a manner to avoid chafing, chafing or other injury. Each separate circuit shall be protected against short circuit or overcurrent protection tapos overload. No? Ito lahat yung mga general na mga provisions for watercraft. No? Accumulator batteries. No? Accumulator batteries shall be secured in place and suitably housed. The compartment shall be properly constructed and adequately ventilated. For our communication wiring system no, sa ating uh, watercraft, so wiring for interior communication essential for safety and for emergency alarm and fire detection shall be so arranged to avoid galleys, machinery spaces, and other enclosed spaces having high risk of fire except those necessary to provide communication or to give alarm within these spaces or to detect fire occurrence. So, there are cases na pwede natin ipadaan sa mga equipment, no? Yung ating mga wiring for communication, that is for the sensors only, no? For the detection, if in case nag-overheat, or nag nagkaroon na ng fire yung ating mga no yung ating mga machineries but in general hindi siya pwede ipadaan do that is to prevent interfering no interference ng mga ng ating mga machineries to our communication system okay passenger ships only no so this is for passenger ships the distribution system shall be so arranged that fire in any fire zone will not interfere with the essential services in other fire zone. No, so yung ano yung sa ating fire alarm, di ba may zone one, zone two, zone three tayo. So for uh, uh, passenger ships, so it is uh, so arranged na kapag mayroong ano mayroong fire sa ano sa isang part ng barko, so hindi maapektuhan yung ibang circuit. Yan. So cables. Electric cable shall be of flame retarding type or fire resisting type. As are the spaces, no? in spaces where flammable mixtures are liable to collect, no electrical equipment shall be installed unless it is of a type which will not ignite the mixture concern such as flame proof or explosion proof or electrically safe equipment. So the lightning circuit for passenger ships, no? So lightning circuit a bunker or hold shall be provided with isolating switch outside the space. So joints naman, so joints in all conductors except for low voltage communication shall be made only in the junction box or the outlet box. So ano kanon pa rin? Uh, katulad pa rin ng normal na wiring natin if we are going to wire uh, a building. Wiring system. So, wiring system for internet communication essential for safety and for emergency. So, ganun pa rin. Dapat hindi siya dumadaan sa galleys or machinery spaces. Then, cargo ships only. Devices liable to arcing shall not be installed in the compartment of our cargos. No? And also, the accumulator battery must be flame-proof or explosion-proof. Okay. So, we have here the questions. No? Questions muna tayo. Okay, so which of the statement is true regarding the grounding system based on our, uh, based on the general provisions, no? So, alin dito sa tingin nyo ang tama? Just put your answer on our chat box. Okay, so the correct answer is letter letter D. No, the third harmonic content of each generator waveform shall not exceed five percent of the neutrals when connected in common. No, so yung five percent. Okay, next in electrical distribution system, what is the recommended grounding practice for metal frames portable? Lamps, tools, and similar apparatus rated above 55 
bolts. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A, no? Ground all metal frames regard, re, uh, regardless of the voltage rating. Okay, next, according to the... Uh, ano na pala to? So next na pala to na questions. No? Ano natin to? So, what is the recommended minimum exposed area for grounding plate on a small watercraft as per the given specifications or given on the code? So, minimum area. Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, 0 0.093 square meter, the minimum. So, ito yung minimum. 0 0.2 yung, ano, yung pinakamataas. No? What is the primary purpose of auxiliary steering gear on a watercraft? Okay, so the correct answer is letter B, to assist in the steering of the watercraft when the main steering gear fails. Yan. So this is backup, no backup steering, to ating auxiliary steering. Okay, when specifying main and emergency generators, a vital and vital motors below 100 kilowatt rating, what information is crucial to the selection? No? So, this is for motors and generators. Okay, for this one, the correct answer is letter C. No? The rating, class of insulation, and type of enclosure. Okay. Next. So, dito tayo sa article 9.2. Special requirements for certain locations and system. No? Okay, so this is the specific requirements. No, so if in case our watercraft has an hospital or dispensary, no, so electrical installations and electrical equipment in anesthetic location and in storage spaces for combustible anesthetics or disinfecting agents shall be approved used in class one. Group C, hazardous locations. Yan. Tapos, locations where gasoline or other highly volatile motor fuel is stored. So, the equipment installed within 460 mm above the deck. So, it will be approved for, shall be approved for Class 1, Group C, hazardous application pa rin. Yung lahat ng mga equipment na nandun. Including the outlets, lamp holders, generators, and motors. Equipment installed at or over 460 millimeters above the deck. So, electrical equipment installed at or over 460 mm above the deck shall be of totally enclosed type. So, parang yung kanina lang din. Okay. So, submersible driven pipe. No? So, ito katulad pa din yung kanyang ano. Kanyang provisions. No? So, it must be installed in an open in air bells. Such flooding, no? Kapag nag-flooding, hindi siya mag sa stop ng pag-work or pag-gana. Okay? So, continuous operation. The motor shall be capable of continuous operation at rated load under normal and emergency condition. Hindi siya talaga nag-stop even if the, if, the, ano, if the electrical system is just powered by the emergency system. 
location. So, the motor controller shall be located above the bulkhead. Tapos, the master switch. So, the, the master switch of this pump shall be connected so that it could be completely disconnected from the circuit when the motor is started or stopped from the remote master switch. Auxiliary system. So, electrically operated water type door system. So, the power supply must be also, uh, must be able to be supplied by the emergency power system. If in case the main power is uh, gone out no, or na, ano na, uh, wala. All cables used in connection with the water type door system shall either lead sheeted, armored, impervious sheeted and armored or mineral insulated metal sheeted na conductor or cable. So ito yung mga klase ng mga wires na pwede gamitin, na pwede gamitin for this type of um, insulation, the water tight door system. Okay, so fire screen door holding and release system. So fire screen door holding and release mechanism. So the fire screen door holding and release mechanism shall consist of an electromagnet with a self-aligning armature plate. No? Nakapag may fire, so it will automatically close no? yung compartment na kung nasaan na fire tapos gagana yung sprinkler system. Okay. So fire screen door holding circuit. So this is the part of the circuit no? na kahit nagkaroon ng fire. So its main, ano, it, it, its main um, wiring ay hindi siya magpifail no? in case there is a fire. No? So central control station and, con and local control switch. So sa central control station and local control switch shall consist of an enclosed externally operable fuse switch circuit breaker or magnetic contactor suit of suitable rating. If in case of simultaneous release where similar doors are in close proximity to each other, a single local control station switch of suitable rating may be used to release all the doors no, simultaneously. So parang may master release no? pag simultaneous release. Okay? Electrical supplies shall be arranged. No? that yung ating armature, ganoon pa rin, 50 kilograms at 0.25 seconds, na yung kanyang ambient temperature is 50 degrees Celsius, tapos hindi lalagpas ng 55 degrees Celsius for, for class A at not more than 75 degrees Celsius for class B insulation. Then the, magnet, the magnetic enclosure or the enclosure itself shall be either drip-proof or water-tight. Okay? In the power supply, the power supply for the fire screen door holding analysis system shall be from the main at emergency system. So, dalawa ang kanyang supply. In the subdivide circuit, on large watercrafts where salamatios closing of all fire screen doors will interfere with the firefighting operation, the fire screen door shall release system shall be subdivided into circuits so that it will be possible to isolate the compartment no, in which fire is registered. So, in, pwede din siyang ano, ma-control ang mag bawat fire screen door individually. No? Pwede na yung may ano lang, kung saan lang na compartment merong apoy doon lang ang i-close. Electric motor for light bolt handling. So, ito ka pa rin, three times pa rin. No? Three times. Tapos, so, enclosed, no? ganoon pa rin yung method, 5 continuous, so yung method 1, 90 mm, yung method 2, 75 mm. Additional test, ganoon pa rin, no? So, additional test must be done within 5 minutes, equal to, na isa subject siya, into pressure, equal to 1,056 kg per square meter. Yan. So, uh, ganoon din, meron din siyang, ano, enclosure spray tight no under this test no we, the enclosure can now be considered as spray uh, spray tight so wiring on lifeboat no so uh, main line of emergency switch so when the motor controller of a lifeboat winch power unit is located adjacent to the winch so dapat nasaan to siya adjacent to the winch tapos switch disconnect must be 
Ganun pa rin sa lahat ng mga switch disconnect or disconnecting switch, it should be in line, no? So main so main line emergency clutch interlock and master switch. So when mo one motor is used with two winches, so dapat meron tayong main line emergency switch tapos yung clutch interlock tapos master switch. So power disconnecting means so when power driven winches are used, uh, satisfactory means shall be provided to disconnect the power. So dapat meron tayong main disconnect switch, no? So location, so the main line emergency disconnect shall be so located as to adjust it to the master switch within the reach of the winch switch in, in, pos, in position accessible to the person in charge of the boat stowage and in position from which the movement of both David arms can be observed as they approach the final stowed position. Okay, so if we have electric heater on our Watercraft, so the risk of fire. So electric heater shall be constructed and installed to protect uh, unprotected the clothing, beading, and other flammable materials cannot come in contact with the flame in such a way to cause risk of fire. So dapat malayo siya sa mga combustible materials. Heating by convection. So cabin electric heater shall be designed to heat surrounding air principally by convection. So when you say convection, that is the transfer of heat. From, ano, from one material to another. So, there is no uh, fire or spark involved. No? So, yan yung heating by convection. So, and that, and that is encouraged sa cabin sa bawat rooms ng ating, ano, ng ating watercraft. Okay. Overheating protection. So, heater shall be provided with suitable regulating switch having a thermal cutout no, of manually reset type that will prevent overheating. So, the external temperature of the heater in closing case shall not exceed 125 degrees except that the temperature of the enclosure of flash-mounted heater shall not exceed 100 degrees Celsius. No? Kapag sa deck naman or bulkhead, so 55 degrees Celsius. No? Sa, at ang ambient temperature is 25 degrees Celsius. Control switch. So, cabin heater shall be controlled by a single pole switch. So kaya single pole switch so that hindi natin pwedeng i-adjust no yung kanyang temperature. So if in case umabot siya sa kanyang maximum kunyari 125 degrees Celsius, so it will automatically turn off, no? So may sensor siya meron siyang ano um thermal cut out. Okay. So electric cooking and motor driving commissary equipment. So electric cooking and motor Driven commissary equipment shall be provided with grab rails, tapos cereals on ranges, and grease or fat collector. Yan. So, so suitable mounting and anchorage. So, so suitable mounting and anchorage to prevent dislodgement by roll and or pitch with the arrangements for fixed wiring and portable wiring. So, dapat yung ating mga Ranges, another cooking equipment must be mounted suitably, no? Tapos naka-anchor din siya doon sa ating floor, no? Disconnecting means so each equipment shall be provided with its own disconnecting means. Individual ang disconnecting means for all the ranges and other equipment in the ano, in the watercraft. So, watertight enclosures, so the enclosures of motors and controls of motor-driven commissary equipment shall be watertight or totally enclosed. So, electric steering system, no? so we have the two steering system where two steering system, two steering gear motors and two separate independent and independent means of controlling the rudder from the pilot house are installed. There shall be two steering system, each consisting of motor, control equipment, and steering gear feeder. So, ito yung mga, ano, mga components no, ng two steering gear system. No? So, meron tayong motor, control equipment, uh, and steering gear feeder. So, separate installation. In general, these two steering systems shall be separately installed on a port and starboard side. So, may sa left at sa right side ng ating 
both, no? So, port and starboard side. So, interlocks, if a uh, means of transfer is provided in the steering gear room so that either steering gear motor and associated control can be connected to either the two steering gear branches, so interlock shall be provided. Yan. So, short circuit protection, so the pilot house steering control system and any other electric means for controlling the rudder remotely from the steering gear shall be provided with a short circuit protection rated at 400% to 500% of the opacity of the circuit. So, ito yung kanyang demand factor no, for the feeder no, of our steering system. Okay. So, pilot light. no, A pilot light for each steering gear motor and each auxiliary motor controlling the rudder shall be provided at the proportion control station and other location to indicate when the motor is energized. So, makikita doon kung alin yung motor na na-energize at alin yung steering system na ginagamit. Automatic indicator. The opening of the steering gear brand circuit breaker shall automatically be indicated at the proportion control station by sounding of an audible alarm. No? So, if in case uh, nag-on or nag-trip yung ating uh, steering gear circuit breaker, so, malalaman doon sa ano, control station na nag-trip siya because there will be an alarm. So, meaning my fault. So, yung nangyayari, yung ating steering system will not function. So, tank vessels of 100 gross tonnage and above. So, the steering gear of tankers, super tankers of 10,000 gross tonnage or above that carry oil or asado's location in bulk shall include the following. So, pwede two or more identical steering gears. Tapos, may alternative power supply to the steering gear. Tapos, yung main steering gear control in the steering gear compartment. Tapos, yung rudder angle indicator on the navigating bridge. So, may ano doon? May indicator doon. May means to automatically start, start, no? Starting each steering gear power unit when power is restored after power failure. My audible, uh, my audible visual alarm that is activated on the navigating bridge upon loss of power. Tapos a means of communication between the navigating bridge, the control station, and the steering gear compartment. Yeah. So control of ships for passenger ships and cargo ships. So ships shall have sufficient power for going astern to secure proper control of the ship in all normal circumstances. For passenger ships only, the ability of the machinery to reverse direction of thrust of the propeller in sufficient time under normal maneuvering no, conditions. And as to bring the ship to rest from maximum ahead, service speed shall be demonstrated at initial service. So, ibig sabihin ito, yung ating, ano, yung ating ship, no? so forward direction, if in case ano, uh, it could ano, encounter something no, na pwede siyang Abangga. So, it must have a direction, a machinery na kayang makapag-reverse ng direction ng ating propeller. So, the, so to have sufficient time para sa ating ship na mag-stop. Okay. So, maneuvering controls. So, dapat may indicating lights. Tapos, meron siyang alternative control. Tapos, suitable interlocks. No? If we are using um uh, two or more um controls no for the for the uh, navigate uh, navigation tapos external electrical supply so sure power connection box so when arranged are made for the supply of electricity from a source on a shore or elsewhere like from nearby ship or floating power plants and repair dockyards so dapat meron tayong shore power connection box kung saan doon natin i-connect yung ating alternative power no So tapos dapat naka-ground yung terminal tapos dapat itong box na to ay may indicator tapos tama yung ano polarity so dapat may polarity checking so dapat na naka-indicate if that is DC if in case AC na three phase so dapat may tamang facing no so ABC or CBA yung phase sequence Tapos, meron siyang information notice no, na makikita doon mismo sa box. 
Okay, so fire detection and extinguishing systems. So for power supply, when an electrically driven fire pump is supplied from the emergency generator, the supply to such pump shall not pass through the main machinery spaces. So that is to avoid na masira yung ating ano, supply line. No? Served by two circuits, so electrical equipment used for fire detecting equipment shall be served by two circuits. So yung isa is from the main power source and one is the emergency power. Para in case of emergency, hindi pa rin mawala yung power for our fire detection and extinguishing system. No? Katulad pa rin yan sa building. No? So yung ating uh, FDAS, no? FDAS natin, including the sprinkler system, must have two supply no para doon sa no sa main at yung doon sa emergency system so additional requirements for passenger ships so kapag may siyang aut aut automatic sprinkler system so an electrical power is used for the operation of sea water pumps and air compressors and the other one is in passenger ships with aluminum superstructures where feeders from the emergency generator the sprinkler system unit passes through any space cons constituting a fire risk. The cable shall be of fireproof type. So remote stops for ventilating fans and pumps. So means for stopping ventilating fans. So it shall uh, the means shall be provided for stopping ventilating fans serving machinery spaces. This means shall be capable of op being operated from outside spaces in case of fire. So, pwede din naka-remote control yung ating ventilating fans. No? For passenger ships carrying more than 36 passengers, all power ventilating system except cargo and machine spaces, which shall be in accordance, no? Noon kanina sa ating, ano, requirements shall be provided with master controls so that all fans fans no must be stopped either two or separate positions okay then discharge protections so means for limiting induced voltage for protections of field winding so dapat meron tayong proper na discharge tawon discharge protection no? for the protection of field windings and cables means shall be provided for limiting the induced voltage so the the induced voltage where the field circuits are open shall be taken at a normal design voltage so means to limit induced voltage at bus bars so we must provide proper spacer tapos uh, when the auxiliary breaker or the distribution circuit breaker opens so dapat yung ating ano, induced voltage shall also be uh, distinguished yeah. So shunt resistor, so shunt resistor which are connected across the field of synchronous propulsion motors when they are functioning as a synchronous motor shall be suitably insulated from the voltage induced when reversing and shall be amply rated to allow delay no, during the reverse operation. Then electrical equipment for use in explosive gas atmosphere, so this is usually applicable for sa mga tankers. So, dapat may nakalagay doon na safe type. No? And meaning that is certified for gases and wave force involved. Then, types of protection. So, certified safe type equipment includes the following types of protection. No? So, ito, uh, in, uh, intrinsically safe. So, ito ay ang kanyang, ano, kanyang code. Uh, Increase safety, so E, flame proof, D, tapos pressurized enclosure, P. No, in, in a status of location naman, dapat nakalagay pa rin yung safe type. So, safety devices, so means to prevent reversal of direction of rotation of DC generator. So, dapat merong ano, um, means or merong way so that our motor shall be prevented from reversing direction no? in case nag-fail yung ating prime mover. So, means for absorbing or limiting regenerated energy. So, when on stopping of reversing the propeller, the, re the regenerated energy transmitted by the propulsion motor is such as to cause the dangerous increase of speed in the prime mover. So, there must be means for suitably absorbing or limiting such energy.
and means for possibly opening of contactors and switches. So yung lahat ng motors natin are controlled by a contactors no and switches. So this uh, there must be a way na ma-force natin yung ating mga contactor to open no. If this should be inadvertently remain closed and this shall be so interlocked to prevent circuits for ahead and astern being closed simultaneously. So general alarm in all passenger and cargo ships and ferry boats and all shore uh, drilling rigs, protection platforms and habitat units, electrical operated alarms for summoning passengers and crews to master station shall be provided and shall be operable from the navigating bridge. So all watercrafts must have its own uh, alarm system no? para uh, ano, para ma-inform no? or para uh, ma-inform sa emergency yung mga passengers and crew na na papupunta na doon sa safe place doon sa master station so it shall be provided tapos doon at uh, pwede siya i-operate mainly on the navigation or the navigating bridge okay okay so what is the maximum external temperature limit for the enclosed flush mounted heaters as per the given code Tingnan dito, alin yung tamang sagot. Yan, so may nagsagot na ng B. So the correct answer for this one no, is letter A. No, A, 100 degrees Celsius for flash mounted. So, 125 is for the surface mounted. So, ito for the flash. Ito is for the surface. Yan. Next. So, what is the recommended short circuit rotation rating for pilot house steering control system and other electrical means for controlling the rudder remote from steering gear room based on the code or the, uh, the given specifications by the code? Okay, so the correct answer po is letter D, no? 40 to 50% of the ampacity of the circuit. Okay, next. Why is electrical equipment installed at over 460 mm above deck required to be of totally enclosed type? Yeah, so alin yung reason dyan? Okay, so the correct answer for this one is letter B. Yan, no? Halos tama lahat. No? To prevent exposure to harsh weather conditions. Okay, next. What preparation is required before conducting the spray test on these electric motors? No? So, mga electric motors natin for, uh, for the use on or for, for installed in motor crafts. So, alin dito? Okay. And the correct answer is letter C. So, dapat i-break siya the symbol three times. Okay. What is the purpose of the additional test which involves applying Applying internal air pressure to an enclosed submerged underwater pump. Yung purpose. Okay. The correct answer for this one is letter 
D. No? So to ensure the enclosure remains watertight under specified conditions. Okay. So in addition, in, in the additional test, an internal air pressure equal to 1056 kilograms per square meter is applied to the enclosure. So what is the primary purpose of applying this specific pressure? So tingin nyo dito. So, isa dito sa mga test na ginagamit for uh, submarines no? and submersibles. No? Ano, nilalagyan siya ng pressure, no? subject to air pressure. Okay, so the correct answer is letter D, to verify the structural integrity no? under normal conditions. Okay, next. Thank you. Yan. So, yan na po lahat yung mga provisions for chapter 9. So, uh, if titingin nyo yung chapter 9, no, meron pa ibang provision tools for the generators, transformers, capacitors, and motors. Pero all of those provisions, ang sinasabi lang doon is balik tayo sa chapter 4. Yan, no? So, lahat ng mga provisions doon pertaining to the specific equipment ay babalik din lahat sa chapter 4 sa Philippine Electrical Code. No? Yung in-include ko lang dito are those uh, related no to the steering gear yung mga navigation at sa mga special locations at fireproofing ng ating uh, fire detection and fireproofing ng ating watercrafts yan no pati yung mga ampacities ng wire for watercrafts is the same pa rin sa ampacity ng doon sa ating chapter 3 yan ganun pa rin so it's still applicable ang pinagkaiba lang is the type of equipment no na dapat watertight at water resistance tapos in hazardous location so dapat approved siya for um uh, class 2 location 1 or location 2 or location 3 na mga locations okay so yan so medyo uh, medyo tawag doon maikli yung ating discussion for tonight ayun ah, so the next topic po natin bukas wala po tayong discussion kasi you will take the pre-board for all the chapters of PEC chapter 1 to 9. So, lahat ng mga question doon is magagaling sa PEC part 1. No? So, questions na galing sa chapter 1 papuntang chapter 9. No? So, bukas wala tayong, ano, wala tayong discussion. Mayroon may, may kayong um, uh, exam no? or pre-board na i-answer. Tapos, after Sunday, we will have um uh the generators motors and transformer na refresher tapos monday to wednesday will be the pec chapter uh, the, the pec part 2 ang ating i-discuss no from chapter 1 to chapter 6 okay yan so may tanong pa po ba tayo bago natin uh, i-en yung ating Discussion. Okay, so I believe there is no question.